A few weeks ago, I talked about English swear words being used here in Germany, but now let's look at some good old German slang. Hey everyone, I'm Donna and you're watching Wanted Adventure Living Abroad. Way, way back at the very beginning of my German studies, my parents gave me a dictionary of German slang. And as interesting as the sayings themselves were, for me, it was also really fascinating that as I started trying to spice up my everyday German with some of the expressions, Mr. German man either didn't know them or was like, no, 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 don't say that, that's weird. So today I'm going to try to use 10 different German slang expressions that I found, and I would love if you could let me know, have you ever heard of them? Do they say these things where you live? And do you think that I should keep the expression in my German vocabulary or just never ever use it again? Okay, let's start with one of my favorite sounding ones. Ach, du heiliger Bimbam. That's just, Ach du heiliger Bimba! So according to my sources, it means something like good grief or holy moly. So it's a pretty innocent way of showing surprise. Ach du heiliger Bimba! So should I use it or lose it? Now let's say I'm out at a party and I'm taking a shot with my friends. Can I say X before downing the drink? The dictionary tells me X means bottoms up. So can I say this before drinking and sound like reasonably cool, or should I just stick with zum Wohl? <sighs> Another one that sounds funny, ratzfatz. Apparently this means quickly. Wir haben ratzfatz gegessen. Is that the correct way to use it? How about dödel? Like, ach, du bist so ein dödel. I guess this means jerk or maybe something less harsh like fool. I'm not really sure. Different dictionaries say different things. So what do you think? And do you use this word? Wie viel Batzen hast du bekommen? Do you know what that means? Batzen comes from Bats, which is an old silver coin. So Batzen is slang for money. Wir müssen zu viel Batzen dafür bezahlen. Oh my God, okay, I love this one. Please, please tell me I can use it. It's just amazing. Kopfgärtner for barber or hairstylist. That is just so great. Kopfgärtner. Warst du diesen Monat schon beim Kopfgärtner? Die Gardener for your head. Ach, wir haben viel zu viel Gammel zu Hause. Gammel apparently means junk. Mr. German man has never heard of it though. Have you? Another fun one to say, Faxenheini. So, er ist so ein Faxenheini. I guess that means the guy is a jokester. Maybe he plays pranks on people or something. And lastly, gick gack. This one doesn't even sound like a real word to me at all. Gick gack. It sounds more like the noise someone's shoes would make when they're walking through thick mud. Like gick gack, gick gack. But anyway, apparently this is youth slang for chatter or cackling. So my question for you is, like I asked before, do you know these words and should I use them or drop them? Just forget they even exist. And what are some other German slang that I should try out? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And for more fun stuff, you can check me out over here on my Twitter and my Facebook page. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen! It means the same thing as Gänse geschnatt. Er. <laughs> Another fun one to say. Faxenheini. <laughs> Faxenheini? Is that right? Faxenheini? Faxen. Why do I say in different languages? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs>